So good morning. I'm Todd Probert from Raytheon, and uh, we're here today to talk about our wind shear system. So wind shear is uh, addressing the counter UAS market, and uh, you just have to look in uh, any any paper on any given week and see that drones and uh, and other UAS systems are are causing all sorts of uh, a turmoil across uh, any number of use cases. So uh, the airport use case, either in uh, in Dubai or most recently in, in Gatwick in in, in London, um, ha- has been a concern for. So. Uh, what we've what we've done here at Raytheon is build a command and control system, and that command and control system, uh, first and foremost, is about situational awareness. And uh, you need to understand your environment. So for many many years, we've been in the air traffic control market, and uh, out of that, we've worked with uh, any number of partners uh, to make sure that we can understand uh, the UAV, the drones that are out there. Uh, and then with that, we've coupled. Um, an open architecture to allow us to bring in any number of effectors. So um, uh, we set up fence lines, so you can see here uh, the various fence lines, and uh, when, you, uh, when you're looking at a UAV threat, um, many, many of the threats that we're seeing today are just nuisance threats, operators that don't necessarily understand what they're doing. So the outer edge of that line will, will have bells, whistles, alarms that, uh, that, that'll go work through it, but as, as a UAV moves through those various fence lines, we have any number of uh, increasingly measured uh, effects uh, to, to go take care of it. So uh, in, in one sense, uh, first fence line might be protocols taking over uh, the command control of the, the vehicle itself. If it gets past that threat, uh, jamming the command and control signal or the GPS signal of, of the UAV uh, to take it down uh, in, a, in a soft fashion. And then uh, we can layer this in because it's an open architecture uh, with more kinetic effects that uh, is more classic in the air defense that Raytheon's uh, done for many, many years.